what I'm gonna be doing today is using live and cut bait. So I've got some crappie and skipjack to cut up and use as cut bait. And then I've also got some live crappie and a live yellow bass in my bait bucket that I'm gonna put down as, as live bait. So probably to start with, I'm gonna start out with four rods and put cut bait on three of them, have live bait on one, and then I'll just kind of let the fish tell me. You know, they can tell me what particular type of bait they want, what particular cut, and I'll just aim to please. Whatever they tell me they want, that's what we'll put on the other rods, but I'm gonna start out with the combination and go from there. So let's get these baits on there and catch some fish today. All right, let's get our yellow bass out of this bucket here. There he is. Well, I got lucky with him. Look at that. Didn't even take me but two seconds there. All right, there he is, Mr. Yellow Bass. The only one I got with me that's alive anyway. I think I got another one in the cooler we can cut up. So we're gonna have one live bait here to start. I got a piece of cut crappie and then I got a skipjack head in midsection. That's the winning combo to start the trip. Oh, this rod right here, man. This fish snuck up on me. I didn't feel him hit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I didn't feel him hit it. I just kind of felt the kayak kind of going over a little bit. Looked back, had weight on the rod tip. That's fun when it's like that. When you get to surprise fish. He's pulling too, buddy. Yeah, man, he's a fighting hard. Well, I smashed my finger too right there trying to crank down on him. Man, this fish is pulling hard. He don't feel terribly big, but man, he's fighting. I wonder if it ain't flathead. It's, it's about time here in East Tennessee for some flatheads to start showing up a little bit more frequently in my catches. I don't target flatheads specifically, but I sure catch a bunch of them when I'm just out fishing like normal for blues, just with live and cut bait. This one here, I ate a piece of cut bait, that piece of skipjack. Now, is it because that was the first bait it came to, or just because it's, you know, the bait it chose out of the options I have down there? I see that fish on the screen too. I'm gonna take the camera here. I've got the live scope on. Hopefully you can see that there. I'm bringing him up right now. Hopefully that shows up on camera. If I can get the camera back in the chest now. I got the live scope on. It's, uh, yeah, I'm spot locked here where I'm at. So I've kind of just got that thing focused on that front rod up there because that's the live bait. I figure that'll be the, you know, if I catch a real whopper today, it's probably gonna come on that live bait or my head bait. So if I get a big thump on the head bait, I can turn that live scope over there toward it. Yeah, I've got him up to about 30 feet now, it looks like, 30 feet deep. He's pulling, man. That's the strong fish. I really think we're going to get him up here and he's going to be a flathead because it's just felt like steady swimming. It's not really felt like rolling down there. I've been wrong once or twice before in my life. I don't like to admit to it, but we could get it up here and it'd be a blue, but I really think it's flathead. He's got my front line up there. It's all right. All right, we're seeing bubbles. Definitely want to see that. They're going back over through there. Come on, fish. There's 11 people still watching this video that want to see you. Yeah, that's a flathead. Not a bad one either. Not a bad fish. That's a welcome sight, man. I'm telling you. From now on through spring, they're going to be a lot more common. Watch this right here. Watch this right here. Look at that. I just untangled him out of them lines before I even landed him. That's talent, folks. You can't hide talent, as the old saying goes. All right, let's land this thing, why don't we? 
Nice, buddy. Come on up in here. <laughs> awesome, man. Awesome. Got him right in the upper lip there. Let's hold it up here. I got the sun behind me here. Maybe I can turn him at an angle and get him on there. Nice, man. Nice flat head. 67 feet. He had a live bait about 10 foot in front of that piece of cut bait. And he chose a small chunk of skipjack. Old devil snuck up on me there. I just felt the kayak starting to kind of lean a little bit and glance back. I got weight on my rod. That's awesome, buddy. That's awesome. All right. Well, I've had my fun. Let's let him go. We'll see you next time, Flatty. A tail slap on the way. That's kind of rude of him, wasn't it? That old fish right there want to splash me on the way out, but hey, I'm happy about that, man. I'm always happy to get a flathead, so looking forward to seeing some more of those as spring moves on forward. There goes the next bait down, just another chunk of skipjack. Boy, we got hit right here on this head. We got hit right here on this head. If I keep talking long enough, we might get another fish here on camera. I think he, I think he may have it. He does have it. He does have it. We got another one going on here, y'all. Like I was saying, I'd rather just set up on a spot like this and just wait these fish out. Let them come to me. It just, it's more fishing in the end. I keep baits in the water longer. This one's pulling, man. This one's pulling right here. Good gosh. This one's gonna put a, put a bend in that golly whopper rod, ain't he? But the bite like this, man, this, the further we get on into spring, I don't know what today is, March 10th or 11th or something when I'm filming this. Oh man, he's pulling. But the, the farther we get on into spring, the better, the better the fishing's gonna be for me. I'm a terrible wintertime fisherman. I'm very inconsistent. I just don't put the time in in the winter like I do spring through fall. But when you put time into spots like this, it's, it's literally a matter of time. It's not if you'll get bit, it's when you'll get bit. And I'm getting bit out here today. My plan is to fish till about dark. I got a long haul to get back to the car, so I'll have to leave a little bit before dark. I don't have a, I don't have a working 360 light right now. Man, he's pulling. Look at that bend, man. Using the new Golly Whopper rod, my signature series rod. These are available at catfishsumo.com. That's a nice blue. That's a nice blue. Real nice blue. Yes, sir, buddy. Let me let a little slack on him before he goes crazy. Look at that. That's a nice one, man. Nice fish. Nice fish, buddy. Got the flathead. We got the blues. I'll take fish like this seven days a week, man. That's a hoss. That's me. That's a, a golly whopper on the golly whopper rod right there. <laughs> Yo, let's try to land this fish right here, buddy. Let's try to land this thing. He's, I hope he's done. I hope he's calmed down because uh, this fish right here, one this big can do some damage in the kayak if he goes crazy. Okay. Whoo. Come on in, fish. Oh, yeah. I ain't got much room with my bait tank air. This fish here, he's been caught before because he's missing an eye. He's old one eye, but it clearly ain't hurting. Because that fish right there, it's, I mean, it's well, it's scarred over. He may have, he may have been born without an eye or something. I don't know. Goodness, that hook's in there good. I gotta get the pliers on him. The way he was hooked, I was afraid it might actually pop out, but there we go. Lordy days, I didn't think that hook was coming out. That's the bait right there, man. My favorite bait in the world, skipjack head. 
it just got me another one. Whoo, let's hold this thing up here. Oh yeah, that's a hoss, man. That's a hoss of a blue cat. <laughs> oh, I love it, man. Guys, I'm just gonna cut a whole new skipjack. I'm gonna replace that head. And I had to, gotta get a new chunk to put on that other rod from the other fish, so. Man, I'm, I'm, I'm shaking, y'all. I'm just pumped up. I'll throw that gut pocket out. We'll trim these fins off, too, on this headpiece. Man, it's an active day, y'all. This is, this is awesome when it's like this. Something's after that piece of crappie, finally. My rod tip kind of just stood up. Let's just... Let's just crank down. There it goes. Man, he had come up in the water with that thing. All right, well, the only thing that's missing now is the live bait. Every other rod has been hit. That's one of the reasons I've said it before y'all about live bait. If, if it wasn't for YouTube, I'd probably never fish with live bait again. It's just a, it's a hassle to deal with. Got to deal with the bait tank and keeping them alive. And I get a good fish occasionally on live bait, but the bulk of my fish, both blues and flatheads throughout the year, this thing is digging, man. The bulk of my fish come on cut bait. But for YouTube purposes, if I do have a day where I catch a big fish on a live bait, it makes for a good thumbnail, makes for a good story. Got to tell a story on the YouTube, you know, people got to keep people coming back. I, I hope to have about eight people still watching to this point in the video. I got to keep you all entertained, you know. I ain't got no jokes to tell, so I got to be fishing with live bait and stuff. This in here ought to be getting pretty close. That's another nice blue. That's another fun size. You want to come in the kayak? Say hello to everybody. Oh, oh, he wants to bite my hand off, apparently. Take my glove with him. Guarantee you he'd try to sell that thing. Guarantee it. That's what they'd all do. They'd go to the pawn shop, try to sell that glove, and they'd probably buy them a piece of shad or something down there. It's probably what they'd buy with it. Let's hold him up here for a photo. Got the sun behind him. This fish, he says he can't catch a break. You know, he thinks he's found him a free meal that's got a hook in it. Then he realizes, well, he's at least gonna get a photo op with a, a, a B-grade YouTuber. I, I don't even know that you could consider me famous since I only got seven people still watching. Uh, now he can't even get a picture with me. That's any count because the sun's behind both of us. <laughs> I'm sorry you're having a bad day, fish. Tell me about it. Tell me about it. Keep talking. Yeah, he's got plenty to say. <laughs> These doggone fish. I love it, though. Let's let him go. Get out of here. Hey, gone. 